Hey guys, this is Doberman Philosopher here making another uh, video for you. Today we're going to talk about a story about my about a friend of mine, uh, an older gentleman, uh, regarding women and money. And I know that, uh, you know, it, it, it's pretty axiomatic that women are attracted to resources, or at least the ability uh, to provision them, right? And my friend George was an older gentleman. Um, you know, he's very successful financially. Um, George is is a kind is a kind of guy who consistently gets fucked over with women. You know, he's been divorced I think three times. Um, his last wife stole three hundred thousand dollars from him. You know, he, he's not a, uh, a specifically attractive guy. He's not the best, uh, he's not in good shape. He's not a very attractive looking guy. Um, but he does have a lot of money. And he's generous with money, uh, especially if he's trying to, uh, you know, attract a woman. That That's his only way of attracting women, right? So, you know, he's not a super masculine guy. He's not uh, an athletic guy. He's not a cool guy. He's not doesn't have a lot of charisma. Doesn't have really um, a whole lot going for him, other than the fact that he's got a lot of money, right? That's pretty much. He's a one trick pony. So George recently, and George is in his seventies. Okay, George was courting a thirty year old girl. And this is a girl that I know. This is a girl that's literally four of my friends have been with, okay? So she's a total slut. This girl, this is the this is a girl that is always hopping on some guy's cock who will, you know, take her out to eat, who she can get things from, who will buy her things. You know, she's got no skills, no job skills, no ability to really provide for herself. So her, um, the way that she's learned how to survive is commandeering resources for men by, you know, by, by her body. Okay. So George bought her a $30,000 car, we took her on expensive vacations to cruises, Florida, um, you know, stay at the best restaurants, the best hotels. He would give her money. He would take her out to eat four to five nights a week. Um, you know, it was it was it was really sad. And at the end of it, whenever he would try to make a move sexually, she wouldn't want anything to do with him, and she would reject him. Okay. And the reason that I'm telling this story to you guys is that yes, women like money, but they don't. It's not. It's not that they like the money in and of them of itself. They they like what the money can provide. They like the, 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 the fruits of it, you know, and, and money is a way to measure success. I mean, we all do this, like how much do you bench press? How many burpees can you do? Right? Like how much money do you have? Like, this is how we compete. This is how we keep score. It sucks. It's stupid. It is primordial. It is anti-intellectual, but unfortunately it is what it is. So, you know, Girls really just don't care about how much something costs. I mean, some of them do if they're trying to figure out how much. They only do in trying to figure out how much money a guy has. And if that's if they're really looking for, you know, a long-term relationship, a long-term provision or someone who's going to provide resources and provide security. But if they're just looking to, you know, fuck a high-value man, I mean, they're really more looking at, are you picking him up in a, in a badass car? Are you taking him out to an expensive restaurant? Do you not give a fuck about paying the bill? Are you taking him back to a nice place in an expensive part of town? Can you take him on nice vacations? Can you do things that are fun and exciting that most guys can't? That's really what it comes down to. So, the problem, however, though, is that if that's all you can do, you know, you're, if you're a one trick pony, like my friend George that, I was, that I'm talking about here is you're going to find 
that Katie, it's not really her name, but obviously I'm going to protect people's anonymity. Neither is George, my friend's real name. But Katie denied or rejected George, even though, even though George had a lot of money and was generous with it and bought her things and took her places and exposed her to things that she normally never would have been exposed to. But that didn't get him the girl because even though he's got a lot of money and he's willing to spend it, he's fat. He's not a particularly good looking guy. He's out of shape. He's boring. He lacks charisma. He lacks style. He lacks... He's not overly social, you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't, he lacks gravitas, he's not overly interesting. He's smart, but he's, all he really has going for him is money, you know? And when, if you devote your life to just making money and thinking that money's going to solve all your problems, yes, not having money is a problem, obviously, but money is not going to solve everything. It's not. It's not going to solve if you la if you're a boring motherfucker, if you're fat, if you're a pussy, if you're ugly, if you're don't have any style, like like if you think that just by getting loaded that you're going to I mean, look, you're you really you're just going to be you, you're just going to be basically buying prostitutes. If that's really all that you're ever going to develop, you should just buy prostitutes because it actually and I made a video about this years ago prostitutes actually earn less money in the long run, okay? They don't marry you. You don't have to... All you have to do is, is pay or agree to price. You get a service, you get to fuck them, and that's it. You know, there's no divorce court, there's no marital assets, there's no child care, there's no alimony. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a one and done transactional type of a thing. So, if that's all you have is money, that's all you're going to get is prostitutes or girls that are going to play you like Katie did, and, and, um, and last time I, I taught, I checked with George, he'd given her, he had spent over a hundred grand on her, in a time span of like nine months, okay, and he never even got to kiss her, sure as hell didn't fuck her, and every time he made a move, he got rejected, so imagine spending that kind of money, buying her a brand new $30,000 car, taking her to, to, to the Bahamas, taking her on Caribbean cruises, taking her to Florida, taking her to the best hotels, the best, you know, restaurants, and not getting anything. Imagine how fucking demoralizing and defeating that is. So that's, that, but that's the reality, guys. I mean, if you do not develop yourself past just making money, you're going to be that. You're going to be George. All right, so, you know, you develop your, sorry, had to develop yourself physically, you know, if you're fat, go, go to the fucking gym, you know, hire a personal trainer, do what the personal trainer tells you what to do, okay, if, if you don't have any style, you know, If you don't have any style, then go on fucking line and learn how to fucking dress. And develop your own style. Develop develop a style. Develop a, a fucking persona, right? If you're not if your life is boring, you know, girls are not gonna like a fucking nerdy engineer who goes to fucking work at his dork engineer job and comes home and watches YouTube and fucking jerks off to anime. I'm sorry, it's not attractive. You gotta get you gotta get involved in things. You do fun, interesting things that you can talk about passionately. You know, me, I'm really into paintball. I'm really into martial arts. I'm really into to, to the outdoors and and going to the gym and reading a lot of books and writing. Like, okay, so now I have a lot I have a lot to talk about. And dogs, I have a lot to talk about. History, I have a lot to talk about. You know, I, I, I'm not I'm not a one and done type of a person. So develop yourself, okay? You know, if your friends suck, leave them and start hanging out and do activities that, you know, manly, you know, badass men are going to be doing. So with that, I'll leave you, you know, the moral of this video really is don't fucking think that just because you got a lot of money that everything is going to fall into your lap. Like that's one element. Yes, you need to have your fucking money right, but that's not all of that, that, that counts. So I hope I made a dent in the universe and 
help somebody. And uh, with that, I'm out.